If you've ever wanted a TV that blows out all the stops for gaming, then the Samsung QN90C TV is probably the one for you. While most folks might want to get a TV that is nicely middle ground and handles content pretty well, this TV right here does all that. And at the same time, it focuses on gaming, especially for you next-gen console owners, including the PC Master Race. There's a key feature that is only included in the QN90C and that's the 144 refresh rates on these TVs but they only come available with the 43 and 50 inch variants. Hello everyone, it's Gerald and together with Bobby, we've been checking out quite a few TVs and displays between us. At the same time, Geek Culture covers plenty of topics from tech to toys so the next video might be different from this one. While I'm a big fan of the S95C, check out the review on this channel, the QN90C is awesome in its own right. It's easy to note on QLED, which is Samsung's fancy way of saying mini LED because of the general hype OLED gets. And there's nothing wrong with that. But the QN90C brings to the table numerous tweaks that will have you considering twice when it comes to color accuracy, gaming features, and anti clear technology. So if you're the type that will be looking to be gaming plenty, this TV will be the one for you. And you will find it works especially well if you have a desk setup as the 50 inch size will be perfect when you're relatively close to the screen itself or if you have a smaller living room. Bigger is not always better, especially when compared to getting the perfect size screen for your own situation. If you're wondering why our office environment has changed, it's because we brought in the new QNITC as our dedicated gaming review display for the next few months. Our workspace is usually dimly lit to facilitate our work preferences. However, there's one window that directs morning light onto the TV, catching Zeki's attention with its anti-glare capabilities. The QN90C outperforms all the TVs we have reviewed in off-angle viewing, although Samsung's previous iteration, the QN90B, seems to have even better anti-glare properties depending on your TV's placement. Still, the QN90C deserves praise for its anti-glare tech, offering great off-angle viewing, minimal reflections, and vibrant colors. Ideal for gaming nights with friends, even if they're not directly seated in front of the screen. One of the few things that you'll want to do once this TV has been set up would be to get the picture settings out of eco mode as it caps the maximum brightness of this TV. The Samsung QN90C can hit 2000 nits brightness on SDR and HDR, so it gets plenty bright compared to many of the top TVs in the market right now. For the best results, we found that the TV's movie mode does really well in day-to-day -day use as a default setting. And we can get the TV even brighter by getting deep into the settings. Going into expert settings and changing the HDR tone mapping settings to active, you can also increase the contrast of the screen to a high as well. Honestly, you wouldn't want to do that because the last thing you want to experience is staring into a floodlight while sacrificing color accuracy. As an everyday TV, the QN90C already has excellent color accuracy, especially in movie and filmmaker mode. And if you want finer tuning, Samsung has it all in their library settings menu. On to gaming, which is one of the key highlights of this TV, and Samsung has spared no quarter with this aspect. All the HDMI ports here are version 2.1 and can output at a maximum of 144Hz. So with the PS5 and Xbox Series X, you're going to get a maximum of 120Hz, which is pretty much a limitation of the consoles. If you want to get 144Hz, you need to plug in a PC to get those extra sweet frames. Does this mean that you might have to cough up enough cash for a graphics card that costs more than a console? Hey, we're talking to the PC Master Race folks here. We don't do logic that well. Jokes aside, if you're looking to get an NVIDIA card, note that G-Sync is not supported here, but you'll still get the best from the top tier FreeSync Premium Pro for the best HDR experience. With the new announcement of FSR 3, we'll see how AMD works in conjunction with the rest of the industry to provide gamers with the best experience regardless of their hardware. The TV comes with ALLM and VRR, making your gaming experience as smooth as it can be. At this point of time, we cannot imagine if any modern TV can do without these features at all, especially 
when there's going to be some form of gaming done on this TV. Samsung has also included their own gaming profile to the TV once you have plugged in a console. On top of that, if you're plugging in a PC, you're able to enable a super ultra wide mode game view, which gives you that nice ultra wide widescreen mode that you enjoy on a desktop PC. And right here, we have a laptop, which is today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by MSI. Meet the Summit E16 Flip, featuring the latest 12th gen Intel Core i7 processor, RTX 30 series graphics, and a 16 inch Quad HD Plus touchscreen panel with a 360 degree hinge. It lets you unleash maximum productivity with up to 11 hours of battery life at just 2 kilograms. The Summit E16 Flip offers unprecedented performance and functionality, allowing you to work and play anywhere, anytime. Build-wise, the Samsung QN90C is as elegant as most modern TVs and it has a consistent design language with the rest of the Samsung TV family. In contrast to the Samsung S95C, there's no one connect box and it all simply plugs into the back of the TV. HDMI ports can be found on the right side of the TV and the TV has quite a bit of channels to help you manage the cables, but we're not quite sure if they would actually fit the thickness of most modern HDMI cables. From the front, the bezels are slim and small to encompass the 3840 by 2160 display and it looks great overall. No changes here when it comes to the UI and Tizen is one of the parts of the empire Samsung is still holding on to. We've said this before and we'll say it again. If you're coming from other TVs, the curve in which one discovers and explores the menus definitely will need some time for new users to get familiar with. This remote is Samsung's go-to design for all their existing TVs and it has grown onto me after a few reviews. But I still cannot get over the fact that it is small and can be some cause of concern and going missing. But the solar powered bag and rechargeable USB are great design options for all. With the QN90C, this is probably one of the best non-OLED TV alternatives that is bringing the fight to the preferred display tech in the market. If you're looking to see what the rest of the market might offer at a lower price point, then this TV might be a good starting point, especially if you have gaming in mind. So that's my thoughts on the TV as a whole. Do let me know about your own thoughts in the comment section below and do check out the rest of our videos right here.